Ryan, three days of intensive discussions are behind us in our Labs of Democracy 2022. You're from the beautiful state of West Virginia. Um, we talked about energy issues a lot. Um, tell me a little bit why you participated and um, what is on your mind and your legislative agenda. Sure. Well, not just three days. We had a whole week in Germany as well. And so it's been it, you know two full weeks, essentially, of really learning a lot from my colleagues, both around the United States and Germany as well. And I wanted to be a part of this program because I, you know, I thought it was important to learn from others who might be from a completely different region of the United States, but also from a completely different country when it comes to my German colleagues. But also I wanted to, to talk about and bring to the table what West Virginia is and what West Virginia has to offer. And, you know, we are an energy producing state. Uh, my district in particular has the, the top uh, producing uh, coal county as well as natural gas. And so, you know, we play a, a pretty integral role when it comes to the delivery of, of fuel for producing energy. And so I wanted to talk about, you know, West Virginia's history and, and the, you know, we've had our struggles when it comes to some of the areas of the state and, and what it used to be and what it is now. And so I, I wanted to impart upon, you know, my colleagues that and the struggles that we have faced but also what our future looks like that we believe. And, and so it was, it was very interesting to, to hear from them what they thought that a place like West Virginia could play, what, what the role West Virginia could play in the future and, and you know, the changing economy that we have. And, and West Virginia isn't just about those two things, though. And, and I think that's something else that I wanted to, to impart to my colleagues. You know, uh, two weeks ago, we had an announcement in my district. There's a, an electric boat manufacturer from the state of Washington is going to open up a large manufacturing facility in Beach Bottom, West Virginia. Um, in Charleston recently, there was an announcement of an electric bus, bus company that is opening to manufacture their vehicles there. And so, you know, West Virginia, I think it's very important for everyone to know, isn't just a one-trick pony. We have a very large part of our economy that is centered around energy producing, uh, you know, elements, but also there are many other things that we've been able to, to, to claim as a victory is in, in West Virginia's road you know, back to prosperity. And so I wanted everybody to know about that. This is a transatlantic project bringing together German legislators and U.S. legislators. Um, why transatlantic? Because I, to me, I think, you know, coming from my military background and working when I was deployed in Afghanistan, when I was stationed in Germany, you know, I worked a lot with partners from other countries, NATO partners, uh, transatlantic partners that mostly were in NATO at the time. And, and so I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed learning from a different perspective. And so I, that was part of what attracted me to this program as well was my background in, in working with uh, you know, military members from different countries and seeing that collaboration, the exchange of ideas, and thought that this would be a great platform for that as well. So when a German would visit you in your district um, at home, what would you show him or her? Uh, I would show them, so we are located directly on the Ohio River. And so we have a very beautiful riverfront in the town that I live in, and we could go boating. Uh, there are plenty of parks around where I live, zip lines. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of outdoor activities. And that's what West Virginia really is known for. And so West Virginia is not a, a big state. So we could travel around a lot of the state as well and show them different areas and, and everything that the state has. And, and so I put that invitation out and I'm hopeful that, that everybody takes me up on that offer. We will certainly do so. Thank you so very much. Thank you.